Okay, in this video we're going to look at um, a database called Firebase. Um, Firebase is an offline um, database, so it's an online database which is in the cloud. Okay, and that means that you can uh, get to it from like a mobile phone or a web app or something like that. Okay, so we're going to go into Firebase here, go into the console. I've signed in now with my personal Gmail account. I think it's a good idea to have a Gmail account just for this sort of purpose. Okay, and I'm going to add a new project. Okay, and this is called my library database. Okay, and then I continue through there. I'm going to allow this for the moment to have the analytics for this project. Uh, then uh, I'm going to go for my default account for Firebase, create the project. Okay, and then here it goes, it's just running along, just accept all those recommendations and it's creating me a nice little Firebase database. Now, I'm hoping that when we get in here, you'll see some of the features of Firebase. You've got to remember that there's various aspects to this. So there's a database itself. Okay, and we'll go in here. Okay, here's my library database and over here I've got some my project settings, my database there, I've got my storage here, and uh, I've also got some authentication as well. So I'm going to leave that where it is for the minute, and for the moment I'm just going to nip to the database, okay, which looks like this. Oops, sorry, there we go, library. Okay, I'm going to the database here. I'm going to hit database. It's gone. Grab it from there. There we go. I've got my database now. Okay, and I'm going to create a cloud Firestore database. Notice down here there were old versions of this particular project from Google, which was a real time database, which is still in existence. But we're going to go for the cloud Firestore for real time updates and all sorts. So let's do that. Um, you can start in production mode, okay, but I'm going to start in test mode, okay, for the moment, and uh, we'll rewrite these shortly anyway, so let's just go into test mode, go straight into there, and then I'm going to find somewhere to be in Europe, okay, and then provisioning now my Firestore. Okay, so I'm just heading into the database now. A little bit of work to do as you can see uh, it's all right that it's in test mode that's fine it can give us 30 days in test mode but you've got to remember that everybody and anybody can see your data and start to add to it if they know all the uh, what the tables are and so forth so you do have to be a bit careful that you're not going to do this in real applications okay so here we are here's the database now the interesting thing about this is that we um at the moment um, have this idea of collections okay so they sort of in sql map onto um, relations or tables okay so this is a collection here we can give it some collection id before we do that however let's nip into our rules and see what we've got okay right now it tells us here i'm actually just going to remove this this is a timestamp so it gives us this length of time there you go um, so I've got Service Cloud Firestore, Rule Version 2, that's all right, Match Databases. So all documents are read and write, providing that they're before the 18th of June. Okay, you can see that that's a nice little rule, and uh, we can leave it at that. If you wanted to extend that, you could just actually put the semicolon here and just take out this line completely. Okay, and just leave it completely open to everybody, just for a bit of fun. But uh, probably not necessarily what you want to be doing. Okay, so that is the first little bit of our database, just setting it up in Firestore. 